The Tansa Pipeline is a water pipeline which runs from the Tansa Dam in Mumbai City to the town of Mahal, a fishing town located in the East Mumbai district. The pipeline, which is about 160 kilometers long, was built in the 1900s to provide clean water to the residents of Mumbai. More than half of the pipeline is above ground, and over the years, it has supplied the main water supply for the residents. However, on the other hand, this pipeline has also caused a terrible environmental crisis for the people living around the Tansa pipeline. According to data from the Government of India, there are around 100,000 houses around the Tansa pipeline. These houses are spread across about 20 villages, most of which were built illegally using cheap, non-durable materials. The slums around the Tansa pipeline date back to the early 20th century. It was originally inhabited by workers of the Tansa pipeline construction project, which began in 1904 and was completed in 1913. Initially, these were simple dwellings made of bamboo or wood. But over time, the settlement grew, and became more permanent. Even today, it has become one of the largest slums in the city of Mumbai. The slums around the Tansa pipeline are inhabited by tens of thousands of people, most of whom are poor people from villages around Mumbai. They come to Mumbai in search of work and a better life. However, many of the residents do not have regular jobs, and live in very poor conditions. The population is made up of various ethnicities and religions, many of whom work as unskilled laborers, petty traders, and informal workers. The education level in these settlements is also very low, with a very high crime rate. As an illegally established settlement, these houses lack adequate sanitation facilities. Housing conditions around the Tansa pipeline are deplorable, often subjected to industrial waste pollution, which of course, causes various health problems for residents, such as poisoning, diarrhea, and cholera. Industrial waste discharged into rivers and waterways around the city eventually seeps into the soil and drinking water wells of residents. These industrial wastes, including methanol, can cause poisoning, as well as various other health problems. The Mumbai government has been working to improve conditions in this slum. The Mumbai High Court in 2009 decided to demolish the building about 10 meters away from the Tansa pipeline and relocate the residents to the Mahal area of the city. However, these efforts have not yielded significant results, as Mahal itself is a very deplorable area. Mahal is a fishing town, located on the eastern edge of Mumbai district. Initially, Mahal was offered as a temporary transit point, with the promise that they would be moved to other, more convenient suburbs of Mumbai. Yet, since 2017, Mahal has been making headlines for its extremely high levels of pollution, as well as the poor condition of its slums. In fact, the area has been dubbed the toxic hellhole, or gas chamber of Mumbai, where the poor are sent to meet death. Mahal used to be a sparsely populated area, with only a few local fishing communities, and mangroves, which were very dense. But then, heavy industry, has changed the face and condition of this area. Today, Mahal has become a heavily industrialized area, and a very unsafe place to live. According to India's Central Pollution Control Board, Mahal is a highly polluted area. Pollution in the region is caused by a variety of factors, including industry, transportation, and slums that lack sanitation. Heavy industries such as Barak Petroleum, Hindustan Petroleum, and others that have been operating in the area for a long time, produce emissions of sulfur nitrogen oxides, carbon dioxide, particulates, and sulfur dioxide. 
Since the arrival of the relocated population to this place, they, have been plagued by different types of diseases, where quickly, they have lost their hair. The corrosive environment, acts on their skin, the effects of which can be seen in the form of acne-like growths, are dark patches. They, complain of experiencing a kind of burning sensation in their throat, as well as their eyes. Not only that, residents, too, often get water, of very poor quality. Sometimes, the water supplied to buildings in the Mahal area, even has a layer of oil on it. As a result, residents suffer from stomach infections, due to consuming water, which has been contaminated. Diseases, hang heavy in the air they breathe, as well as the water they drink. That is why, residents who have been relocated to the Mahal area, often say, that they are the government, did not send us here, to live. Rather, to meet death.